Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhay. Welcome to another edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host, and we come to you live every Tuesday at 12 noon. Again, we want to thank our proud sponsors and supporters of Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to uh, come and share these uh, pertinent subjects that. Uh, affects our community, especially our Kababayan City, uh, Comunidad de Uiti Filipino. And here on Pinoy Power Hawaii, we do speak three language, languages. It's called Itaglish. At one time or another, we may be speaking Ilocano, Tagalog, and English. And sometimes it's all in one sentence. So uh, today, we are continuing our sequel of Awakenings and Second Chances, and I have a special guest who is dear to my heart. Uh, she is my sister in Christ. Her name is Lilia Pascua Esperito, and uh, she's a community leader, volunteer, also a Sunday school teacher who devotes her time in sharing God's blessings. So, uh, how are you today, Sis Lilia? Welcome. Oh, well, thank you. I'm fine, Amy. Thank you very much for inviting me on this prestigious program of yours. And I'm so happy to be a part of this program today. Well, thank you for uh, uh, joining us and helping to uh, helping us with our empowerment. You know, uh, Sister Lilia, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, but the big word for us is empower. And I know that you have a story to share, uh, but before we go into your awakening and second chances, uh, please tell us, when you hear of Lilia Pasco Esperito, who is Lilia Esperito? Oh, well, I mean, I, um, I came from La Union, just like you. Um, from Luna La Union, and mm -hmm. my barangay is in Remos. Mm -hmm. I was born in February 8, wow. 1953. Uh -huh. And uh, I went to school in San Fernando La Union mm -hmm. for high school, and then proceeded to Manuel Alqueso University in Manila, where I took up my Bachelor of Arts and Political Science, mm. where I dream of being a lawyer someday. Uh -huh. But then, uh, you know, some tragic incident uh, curtailed that dream of mm -hmm. mine when my sister, who is in Hawaii at that mm -hmm. time, uh, passed away or they were murdered in their home mm. in 1973. And so my dream of becoming a lawyer died mm -hmm. out because oh. she's the only support that I have. Right. Sending me all what I need. So, and luckily, I was on my fourth year mm -hmm. at that uh, time, and I'm graduating from that Bachelor of Arts. Mm -hmm. And so, instead of proceeding to the law proper mm -hmm. for taking up another four years maybe, I decided to take up education courses mm -hmm. so I could teach in college. Mm. That's when I graduated in 1973 and started working as an instructor at the Philippine Air Force College of Aeronautics in mm -hmm. Manila, where I teach for 16 years. Wow. Yeah, 16 years. And there I gained my experience in teaching as a college instructor. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I also worked as a part-time instructor at the International Aviation School mm -hmm. at the time where they train pilots or become commercial or, you know, government pilot or military yes. pilot. Uh -uh. They, they, we, we, I handle the... Academic. Academics, yes. Classes. So you got into it because you love flying or you just love uh, uh, being a pilot? Not really because I don't have any idea. <laughs> Since I was employed by as a teacher or as a constructor uh -huh. at the Philippine Air Force College of Aeronautics. Mm -hmm. And so some of my friends, when that school just opened up, mm -hmm. they just beginning at that year, they told me if I want a part-time job. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, spending two, three hours every night after my classes mm -hmm. at the uh, Philippine Air Force College uh, doesn't hurt my schedule. So I agreed to 
to try to apply there mm -hmm. as an instructor in the academics. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, among, I mean, uh, Sister Lilia, at uh, education. Yeah, parte ti uh, pinagprogreso tayo ti uh, pinagadal. Yes. And we can never have enough uh, knowledge nga mangpa mang tiditi kinabaknang, no? Yes. Yeah? yes. So I, I really salute you in that. And I think uh, even this day, you continue to uh, get educated on uh, a lot of things that we need. Well, actually, Amy, maraming bagay ang gusto natin gawin, mm -hmm. lalo na yung ikakaunlad natin, oh, oh. Sa, lalo na kung may pamilya na tayo. Mm -hmm. ang, ang focus natin ay para sa pamilya natin. Oh, oh. So, I tried Siyempre. to, when I came to Hawaii in 1991, mm -hmm. I tried every means that mm -hmm. I could handle my kids, especially mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when the man that took me here mm -hmm. passed away, that's mm -hmm. when, like, Oh, what should I do now? I need to work, get a two jobs uh -oh. to support my family. Mm -hmm. And of course, support getting two jobs and supporting my family mm -hmm. will enrich my, my learning. Because I believe that even we are old, we mm -hmm. continue to learn. Mm -hmm. And so that's what happened. That's why I work at the CMSA as a... a claims... A, department. Yeah, the you claims know? department. And then after that, I applied for the state job. Mm -hmm. And luckily, I was employed by the Department of mm -hmm, Health, mm -hmm. where I stayed there for 20, 22 years, mm -hmm. more than 22 years, as a secretary of mm -hmm. the Department of Alcohol and Drug Abuse Division. Oh, yeah. interesting. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, within that uh, period nga nagtrabaho ka Jay, adu tina sorustoro may panggap ka rin alcohol, substance, drug abuse nga mabalin mo nga iburay tap no maamuan rin kiti dumdum nga eg? Adu tina sorustoro ka Jay, Amy, lalo ka rin kiti kapilipinuan nga pada tayo. Do that do ma dagit to ipada tayo nga Pilipino, dagit niya problema dati may panggap ti drugs within the family. They want to keep it themselves. Yes, you're right on that. Mabait na nga, oh baka niya ti bagada pagsasaritaan na kami to keep them or something. Nakababain ko na tayo, yeah? Nakababain ko na tayo, yeah? But, for me, because I work as a secretary and I get all the calls. When? Every time You're... because a family, uh -huh. family member will call. Mm -hmm. What will I do? My son, my daughter is like this. Mm -hmm. My daughter jumped out of the truck when my tennis daughter, when they were bringing he, her mm -hmm. to the rehab center. When? Suicidal. Because yeah. suicidal. Mm -hmm. When? And so we give, I give them some kind of advice mm -hmm. and because they they thought that no kimo lap that the agency when the kayat danga sa wod dumawat that the tulong the police mapabuwalan the giant that's not the case oh oh when 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 if they are violent and they do something bad that hurt the public, mm -hmm. then the police will come and take them away. Mm -hmm. But when they just call us, it is not our responsibility to call the police, because for us, if the person especially no. Ang nataunganan? Ano uh -oh. tinataungan, Amy? Don't you know that? Oh, yeah. Ano well, tinataunganan? Chronic na problema na ito. Yeah, na lang problema. 35, 40s. Uh -oh. When? Bas daw ko tako na kini, mm -mm. teenager lang, nagigyan kas kasi dyan. problema. Apo When? problema. Uh -huh. But hamot gaya. No. Uh, yeah. uh, the more I uh, dig into the problem, mm -hmm. ate, uh, the more I find out nga it is... Uh, a sickness or epidemic that epidemic uh, na talaga. Yeah, talagang problema iti amin oray anya iti edad mo yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and so ibaga kadakwada no ada rami din da nga madi nga makadangran mm. then the police will come nga muda kami hang mi nga mabalin nga order ja police nga inkay ala ni kastoy no it is and the willingness of the person mm -hmm. especially no nataunganon nga isuda ti mapan agpa rehab oh when when yeah when. because we have different uh, rehabilitation mm -hmm. agencies that we contract with and that's how the state help those people kas lao may dalang mang malatay agsapul iti tulong agsapul dati tulong no sino tati papakay pananda ng rehab center we have a lot here in wahoo 
Well, yeah, like, so, uh, did you PC nam kut kasla da tay resource centers nga pakaalaan da tay information no kayat da nga maikanda iti uh, tulong when no da tay nasisita nga papananda tap no maagasan da when no matulungan da, di ba? Well, mm -hmm. kun did you PC nam iti da kami ti mang 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 tad kada kwada no sinutoy nga agency ti dapat nga papanan mm -hmm. no sinutoy nga lugar da gichay well. but most importantly the aided in the alcohol and drug abuse division mm -hmm. their main focus is getting funding for those agencies that provide services to the public mm -hmm. Nagijayti concern na ide. Uh -oh. Nagijay, well, and okay. we also give training to this uh, substance abuse mm -hmm. counselors. When we give them training, tap nati kasi that they can do their work better. At adu pa iti matulungan dano talaga matulungan nga mga train da mm -hmm. nga tumulong kada yes. kitang yeah. kaso o yeah. incidente. When yeah. mm -hmm. so that's what Ida do that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so na nasaya at matati ta at da kang uh, umay da pagsandagan o no, pagdawatan iti tulong. But uh, dati ko namon, uh, dati handa nga kayat iti nga iruwar da gito yung uh, problema. Mm -hmm. Dati ay uh, shame, uh, may baba in launay, when no, uh, dati uh, talaga nga uh, ilingad da. Just, just like you, you stay in the closet. And mm -hmm. you don't get any help that way. Kaputahan damot nga day tay mairwar ng no maiburay DJ talaga nga problema na. And in that case, no, they shut the outside world. So therefore, awan iti maala nga tulong at ang damot nga day tay honest when no maibagan nga anya nga talaga DJ problema di tao, no? What, what do you mean? Um, actually, ti palagay ko that mm -hmm. kultura tayo ng Filipino. Well, Kung nakman well, well, well. ah. Agpay suray ta. Well, mm. Kultura ni Filipino mm -hmm. nga hantay kaya't nga pagsaritaan da tayo. Mm -hmm. But through my experience, mm -hmm. napimpintas lang nga pagsaritaan da ka ti padam nga Filipino nga da tayo mo masulbar ta problema to na ti pamilyam. Agpay suray right? ta. Dati yeah. uh, kang kanayon nga dati ibagbagkat mo ilang lingad mo and dito yung sikreto ti uh, familia itugot mo aging gana ijay tanam mo kapo ti uh, babain, right? Well, yeah. ijay, kuso di jay mm -hmm. nga dati pa nagbain nga min kat iso ti mang preventar kada tayo nga dumawat tayo ti tulong habang na sa papay. Uwen, uwen. Dagay niya na mga Pilipino, mm -hmm. dumawag na titulong, but to naladawan. Naladawan. Grabe una yun, di yung problema nga narigatin nga may kanti solusyon na. That's right. Na, detay maipit ka nga talaga. Yeah, Awan iti pamuspusanan. Uh, at, uh, detay nga uh, sitwasyon ka, no, kung ma agtapwak ka iti uh, uh, di jay uh, danom, muna taaw, uh, awan ti marami na muna ta, disidido nga agtapwak ka muna keltayan na ti bagina natin, di ba? Well, yeah. gusto di jay. Tado, nagiti access suicide because mm -hmm. they get help very late. Yeah. Because of the shame from mm -hmm. other people, the shame of their family members, mm -hmm. aduti na encounter ko ang kasjay yeah. while working at the alcohol and drug abuse division. Yeah, na sayat man yeah. dito ta inwar mo ate because uh, dito uh, pinagbabain. Uh, I know nga kultura tayo nga talagang uh, Pilipinos dahil lalo-lalo ni Ilocano, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nasisiyat lang uh, dito uh, uh, kalubamon. Ngam dito ay irwar mo nga dito ay pagsisaritaan di tao. But that is not the case in uh, to get help. Masapol nga dito ay siya lukoy ka nga mangipakita no anya man iti dito ay karkarga em nga talaga nga natagsin mm -hmm. nga problema. Right? Oo na yung mm -hmm. Datay ko nata yun. Ure kalubam, di dyan na bang sit, rumor mm -hmm. lata, di ka di? Ya, yeah, dati pagsasautay, may panggap iti bumbong, di? Di nga min? Ure kalubam, kat, uh -huh. sumaw to lata, gam naladaw to, no, irwar mo, no, lino katamo, naladawan. Agpaiso na ita, di. So, uh, may panggap iti pinagbabawi, ila kita, kaya uh, nasisaya at no, dati agsak bay ka, tatap no, matulungan na ka. Kasi ko na ti apo tayo. Oh, well. Yeah. We will come back with our uh, awakening, uh, second chances conversation with uh, Sister Lilia Pascua Esperito after these uh, short messages on Pinoy Power Hawaii. We will be right back. 
Hey, Stan, the energy man here on Think Tech Hawaii. And they won't let me do political commentary, so I'm stuck doing energy stuff. But I really like energy stuff, so I'm going to keep on doing it. So join me every Friday on Stan, the energy man, at lunchtime, at noon, on my lunch hour. We're going to talk about everything energy, especially if it begins with the word hydrogen. We're going to definitely be talking about it. We'll talk about how we can make Hawaii cleaner, how we can make the world a better place, just basically save the planet. Even Miss America can't even talk about stuff like that anymore. We got it nailed down here. So we'll see you on Friday at noon with Stan the Energy Man. Aloha. の日本語放送のコスト国末ゆかりです各週月曜日の2時からお届けしています 日本語コミュニティハワイの日本語コミュニティに便利なお助け情報ニュースなどをゲストをお招きしてお届けする番組ですこんにちはハワイ各週の月曜日2時からぜひ皆さん見てくださいホストの国末ゆかりでしたアロ
Pinilipat ako sa kay sir, doon ako ginamot na. Mm -hmm. And so, they were putting me in a rehab and something. Mm -hmm. And then, my daughter said, the doctor was saying that I still have the opportunity to, to walk, to move. Mm -hmm. Only it's not very normal, but I can walk and move. And so, every day, they wanted me to move my thumb, mm -hmm. my, my foot thumb, and right. like that. And so, because of that worry that I do not move anymore, mm -hmm. or I cannot walk anymore, I was thinking of that blessing to be full again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How could that be? And then, my daughter was telling me one time, Mom, you need to help yourself. Mm. Okay, so, mm -hmm. even when I was lying down, I used my right foot to move my left foot up and down, to move and move and move uh -huh. and my feet or use my left side to move down like that. And so after a month yes. of rehab, I uh -huh. went to Rehabilitation Hospital mm -hmm. of the Pacific. After a month, I was able to get rid of the of the wheelchair, of the mm -hmm. walker. I, I can walk by myself though feeling dizzy. So I always have a... What you call this? A walker. A walker, yeah. My walker ako. So it took the urging of your daughter to remind you that God helped those who are willing yes. to help themselves. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and of course, I prayed every night. Mm -hmm. I prayed every moment right there. If this is a challenge to me, mm -hmm. I said, Heavenly Father, let me have a second chance. Yes, exactly. Let me have a second mm -hmm. chance. And so, in thinking of that second chance, the Lord said, help yourself, mm -hmm. then I will guide you and help you. Okay. Let me take you back to initially, right after you had the stroke. Of course, you couldn't move. Uh, how was your, did they inipaktara na dahil pinagpampanunot mo, sister? When no, makapanunot ka hindi, dahil they nataros, when no, naapektara na ito yung thought pattern? Well, so far, that's what I'm very thankful for, Heavenly Father, sister, because I didn't lose my mind. Mm. There's nothing, only physical, like my face become the type side, yes. uh, other sideways uh -uh. like that, and I couldn't move my hand. Right. But then through exercise, I was able to mm -hmm. put back my face in mm -hmm. its uh, uh, normal way. And, but my mind doesn't get affected. It never changed. It never changed. Your ability to think. Uh, I have my cell phone, I listen to conference talk, uh -huh. and I can remember, you know, that's that's my pastime when I'm not busy in the hospital tending mm -hmm, to myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I listen, I read the insign. Actually, I'm reading all the books that I can. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I exercise my brain yes. by reading. And and also the uh, uh, pinagtalik mo when no day they makung kunang faith tayo. Yeah. Uh, at, at one point, did you ever doubt? Did you uh, talaga pinagayat ni Apo? Uh, did you ever ask yourself nga, oh why me? Apa nga siya? At very first, I have that thinking. That feeling. Uh huh. I've been so good. I go to church every Sunday. I do good things to people. Mm -hmm. You know. Why me? Uh, and, then, and then why did? This happened to me, mm -hmm. but then I answered my own question. Okay, and I said maybe this is a blessing because God is giving me the trial to let me think mm -hmm. that I should have not abused myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while I'm still strong. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can relate to your story, uh, Sis Lilia, that a lot of us get caught up with our everyday activities and uh, sometimes we don't know uh, when or how to stop because for me, uh, service uh, becomes an obsession. Uh, the desire to want to finish what I'm doing or to do more that I can handle. And then in doing so, malipatan tayo, DJ, uh, talagang capability tayo, wano abilidad tayo nga mang, uh, uh, mang kompleto, DJ, nga task, wano trabaho tayo. Uh, kaya dati da, da, presyo nga ibayad tayo kaya dito da, overall health. health. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I promise to Heavenly Father, when I get out, I will take care of my health. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to decrease the activities that I have. Mm -hmm. Like before I go to parties, you know, like those association parties and everything, mm -hmm. just to know more people, to get in touch with people like right. that. Networking. Networking, mm -hmm. because, you know, we are we are with some of the businesses on the side that we do, so we need to work with, pe with right. people. Right, right. And so I have to stop all those things. Mm -hmm. I promise I, my health is more important. Mm -hmm. That's when... I tried every means how to lower my sickness, my, like, I have a diabetes, I have to, I tried mm -hmm. every means, so I go, I went to a diet and everything. Mm -hmm. Not till now, I'm still in a diet mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. From 160 pounds, I lose to 110 when I get up wow. from the hospital. So. Yes. Uh, that is good in a way nga na pukaw mo tidak do mga timbang mo, but uh, that is really not a good way to do it. But it worked in your case. It is really an awakening uh, because uh, uh, things happen in our lives to uh, kind of remind us that we need to slow down. We need to find balance. We need to take time to prioritize. That kung kuna ni Stephen Covey first things first. Yeah, kita antay no anya ti importante nga talaga kiti ati dog nga listahan tayo ket dagito ya talaga nga priorities when no umo na nga kayat tayo nga maaramid whether it's uh, uh, our family or uh, perhaps we need to serve the Lord more uh, and cut back on our community activities ken dagiti ra do mga social uh, gatherings nga kan kanayo na papapanan tayo because that's how society uh, wants us to be sometimes right yes Keeping up yeah. with the Joneses nga makungko na no ana iti karro nga drive bandeta karro bam kat kayat mo mat kayat mo mat ti ag drive iti Mercedes when no BMW when no Rolls Royce ding amen sister yeah yeah so yeah Amy DJ nga nangyari kanya I don't consider it as as a trial or something but it's a blessing on my part because God is giving me the ways to think that your health is more important mm -hmm. than those associates that you have, that keeping up with all those parties mm -hmm. and everything, you know. And so after I get out of the hospital, mm -hmm. I just concentrate on myself, how I get well mm -hmm. until, until now, I'm still continuing. To, to help heal. myself to heal. Yes. Yeah. But along with that, uh, you, I'm sure you credit your uh, your family, especially you have a supportive husband. Uh -huh. You know, uh, the brother Tony. Yes. Right. I know he's very very important part of your healing and well being. Yeah. So uh, thank you again for being our guest and reminding us that it's important to balance and also uh, to manage our time so that uh, we can self, uh, continue serving, but most of all to take care of ourselves. So I appreciate our guest today, uh, Sister Lilia Pascua Esperito, for sharing the giti experiences na tatap non mariing tayo, the giti pinakapaltiing, may kanta yu iti, may kadwang agundaway, second chances, when no awakenings. Um, this serves as a reminder that we need to take the time to take care of ourselves. And the saying goes that no success can ever make up uh, for a failure in the home. So let's remember. Remember that, uh, focus and really prioritize first things first. Thank you again for joining us here on Pinoy Power Hawaii, and we invite you again to tune in next Tuesday from 12 noon to 12.30 here on Think Tech Hawaii. Mabuhay, maraming salamat po, aloha, and God bless.